here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 These days, Moomin and Snufkin were together even more than ever. Winter would hit Moomin Valley any day now, and then they would have to part. Moomin to go into hibernation, and Snufkin to leave for his trip south. Look sad? Has something upset you? Where are you off to, Moomin? To the Lonely Mountains. How come you two are always stealing off somewhere? We're not stealing off. We're just going for a walk to Lonely Mountains. Just the two of you? You're even worse than usual, never taking any of us with you. I hadn't noticed. Are we really doing that? I'm not sure. Maybe we are. No maybes about it, and let me tell you, it's very rude. But we were just off for a walk. I know. Well, then. Why are you going? It'll start snowing any day now, little Mai, and then we won't be able to go anywhere, will we? We wanted a last look at Moomin Valley from above before that happens. A likely story. But it's true. I'm off very soon, and I wanted to see it all, to give me a picture to remember while I'm walking. Hmm. Did you hear that, Snork Maiden Sniff? Come here! <laughs> Moomin, do you mind if we come along with you? Of course not. You see, we thought you were probably plotting something secret and weren't letting any of us in on it. Oh, come on. We don't have any secrets from you. It's just that, well, you know what I mean. Snufkin will be leaving for months and months very soon. Never mind. Off we go. It would be fun to see it all from here in the middle of winter, all white. Must be very beautiful. Oh, I don't think so. With everything white and clean. In summer, it's very beautiful. Well, I'm coming back here in winter to see it for myself. You can't do that. You're hibernating. Well, maybe not. I thought that this year I'd try to keep awake all winter. You mean just like Moomin and I did last year? Yes. You could never do it. What about you? Are you hibernating? I'm not all that mad about the snow and the cold and dark, so I'll hibernate. I'm very happy to be going home. I've seen it all now. Well, we didn't ask you to come along, little Mai. Why don't we go take a look at that beautiful lake again, Sniff? The one with the golden fish? Oh, no, that's too far away. Ah, uh, you're just afraid of the forest of witches, aren't you, Sniff? Not at all. I'm not a bit scared. Hey, look! Who's that? Nobody I know. Wonder what she's doing here. Sitting down. Don't say such silly things, Sniff. Hello there. Hello Hi there. there. What are you doing up there? Uh, I'm waiting. For what? For Grandma. Out here all alone? Well, Grandma told me there was a big rock by the path leading up to Lonely Mountains and to wait there. But there are other rocks by the path, you know. Oh, are there? 
But this is the only one I've seen so far. Your grandma must be crazy or something making you wait in a place like this. No, her house is in the forest and she's coming to show me the way. In the forest? You mean the forest of witches? Yes, I suppose so. It's not very far from mm -hmm. here. That's it, definitely. How long have you been waiting here? Oh, about an hour. Oh, an huh? hour? She's not very punctual. Perhaps I was early. Yes, she was an hour early. Hey, oh. it's Grandma. Welcome, Alicia. Mm. <laughs> Where do you find all these children, my dear? I was waiting here all alone, and then they came along the path and wanted to help. Very kind of you, I'm sure. Well, don't just stand there, my dear. Let's go. Come along. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am, but don't you live in the forest? Indeed I do. In what part of it? Let me see, it must be about right in the middle. Interesting. The only place I know of is an old house where they say witches used to live. You don't say, young man. Well, what do you know? What will he think of next? Her grandmother is... A witch, I think. But surely they don't exist. Of course not, like dragons don't exist. Well, she doesn't seem like a nasty one. Uh, how can you tell, Moomin? I don't think that nice girl would have a bad one for a grandma. Perhaps not. So tell me, what makes you think she's a witch, eh? Who else could live in that forest, Papa? Well, I can't think of anyone right now, but some people would like it. Yes, I suppose you're right. I hope you are. I've lived in Moomin Valley for a long time, and I've never once seen a witch. So they don't exist. Yes? Oh, stop working now, Snork. Dinner's ready. I'm coming. No wonder it's so light. Look, the moon is up. Snork Maiden, I think it would be very wise for you to stay with the Moomins from tonight on. Why on earth do you think that, Snork? I've decided not to hibernate this winter. Why ever not? I want to complete the blueprint for my new flying ship by next spring. For a real inventor, sleep is an unnecessary luxury. Science, my dear Snork Maiden, will not wait while inventors take a nap. But you know, dear Snork, how dependent you are on your sleep. I'll stay awake. Very well, then. This winter I will hibernate with the Moomins. Excellent. Shall we have dinner? I'm ready now. Well, most certainly, Snork. Snork Maiden will be just fine here with us. Thank you. This is nice for Moomin, too. Now he'll have Snork Maiden to keep him company. Yes. But who needs company when they're hibernating? After all, Moomin will be fast asleep. Nevertheless, sleeping is much nicer when someone else sleeps in the same room. When do we start hibernating, do you think? Well, with weather like this in another few days, I guess. So early? We'll have snow before the week is out. Well, good luck with your new blueprint, Snork. I look forward to seeing your flying ship in the spring. Hmm, come this time next year, I'll definitely be flying about. Thanks again for taking Snork, Maiden. It's no trouble at all. Good night, then. Good night, Snork. See you, Snork Maiden. Bye. Good luck this winter, Snork. Thank goodness, at last I can really concentrate on my work. Huh? I don't believe this. Am I hallucinating?
Oh, a witch. I'm sure it was. I'm positive. On, on a broomstick. And when the snork gets an idea in his head, there's not much room for anyone or anything else, is there? I hope he'll succeed this time. At least in my dream, that round thing really flew well. I often dream that I fly, but I wouldn't dream of trying it out. Snork must have had some sort of a new idea. Oh! It's Snork! What's the matter? Piece of cake. You look like you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost. She laughed at me. Who did? She was flying on a broom. No engine at all. Are you talking about the witch? What's the use? There's no point if you can do it so easily. Pull yourself together. You really saw her? Yes. But where? Right near here. I can't see any witch up there, Snork. Just the moon up in the sky. And she was really flying in the sky? Is that what Snork said? Well, he should know about things that fly. Hmm, but I just can't believe it until I've seen it myself. If she really is a witch, then what about the girl? I mean... <laughs> No one could be happy living with a witch. I really don't know. I thought witches had to be old. Maybe it's not her real grandmother. She could be adopted. Well, Moomin, we must get to the bottom of this. Yes, Snufkin, we must. <coughs> ha! I caught you at it again, you and your secret plans. Where are you going? Today you can't come with us, little Mai. And why not? Because we're going on a dangerous mission. We're going to the Forest of Witches. Well, if you're in any danger, then I must certainly come along to look after you, Moomin. Come on! Besides, nothing's exciting's happened to me since I went up with that kite. <laughs> this is so exciting. Ha! <laughs> Sleeping all winter is such a bore that I must cram in one adventure first. This is what we'll do. I grab the witch, and while she's helpless, you two grab the girl and whisk her away to safety. That sounds great, but we don't know if she is a witch, little Mai. If we grab her and she isn't a witch, it would be embarrassing and we could all be in trouble. Maybe the witch needed an innocent maiden to try out some potions to experiment on her. <laughs> Maybe. Let's find out. How do we find out? By snooping around, I suppose. I hope you'll think of something a bit better than that before we get there. Let's hide as close to the house as we can and then ask the girl as soon as she comes out. And what if she doesn't come out, Snufkin? Then we'll improvise, little Mai. So this is the famous plan by the great Snufkin. Look, if she doesn't come out of the house, we'll just go up and knock on the door. Once we're inside, I'm sure we'll be able to tell what's really what. Uh, I don't think it's a very good idea. What if she casts a spell on us? Little Mai will wait outside, and if we don't come out, she can run back to Moomin Valley for help. That's fine, but Moomin can wait outside and I'll search the house. Oh no, little Mai, you can wait outside and I will search the house. Let's do it this way. You stay outside and if we get caught, try to free us. And run for help as quickly as you can, only if you can't. Is that okay? Hmm, that means if you're in trouble, your lives will be in my hands. That's right, little Mai. I don't like the sound of this. I'm not sure I want little Mai to be my last hope. Well, I wouldn't help anyone who doesn't trust me, that's for sure. Hear that? See what I mean? Shh, be quiet. There's a house. Look at this. It's very quiet. Do you think there's anybody home? I don't know. Let's wait a while and see. Do we have to stay absolutely still? But of course we do. We'll feel extremely silly if the house is empty. They've disappeared. They could have told us where they were going. I'm sure I don't care. Little Mai went too, I think. She's betrayed us. That's just like her. Don't worry. I've got a pretty good idea where they huh? were heading for. You know where they've gone? Why didn't you tell me? Where are they? They've gone to the Forest of Witches. What? They've gone to see whether the woman we met yesterday is a real witch. Huh? A real one? 
Why don't we go there, too? I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find my way, Sniff. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know. It's my stomach. I better lie down. Oh, oh it's very painful. Oh. oh, how much longer are we going to have to stay here like this? This adventure isn't the least bit exciting. Well, let's wait a little bit longer. Be quiet. At least we know the girl is definitely in there. No, we don't. She might be out. She could be anywhere. I know that's possible, but I don't think so. Psst. She's getting some water. As I thought, that witch is working her to the bone. Hey, little Mai! She's following that girl. You go with her, Moomin, and find out as much as you possibly can about what's going on. I'll watch the house. Right. Hey, wait for me! For Alicia, she's out. Stop! Listen, wait and see. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Why did you try to run away then? Oh, I'll help you with that. So will I. How kind of you. It is a bit heavy to carry, you know. I think I remember your name. Is it Alicia? Yes, it is. I'm so glad you remembered it. My name is Moomin. And I'm Little Mai. What are you doing here in the Forest of Witches? Well, to be perfectly honest, we came because we were rather worried about you. Worried about me? Why's that? Is that, is that old woman really your grandmother? Of course. You're quite sure? Yes, of course. She's my mother's mother. Why do you ask? Well, don't, don't you know? He's trying to ask. Ask what? If maybe your grandmother is a witch. Yes, she is. What? Of course. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was a bit taken aback. You don't mind about your grandmother being a real witch? Oh, no. That's what she is. Always has been. I'm going to be one, too, when I'm grown up. Oh, no, you couldn't. Why, you don't look anything like one. Well, that's because I'm not one yet. When you're born into a witch family, that's what you become. But it's not that easy, you know. Oh, this is too much. Now tell me, what are you doing here in the Forest of Witches? You don't sound like a witch. Oh, really? What do witches sound like? Well, to be honest, you're the first one I've ever met in my whole life. I'm sure that's just what you think, young man. Is it true that the nice girl is really your granddaughter? Certainly. A very promising young girl. Honest and hardworking, and with a lot of training, she will make an excellent witch someday. But how can you possibly turn such a sweet girl into a witch? The sweetest girls make the best witches. Hello, didn't know you were back, Grandma. Thank you for getting the water, Alicia. Oh, who is that? I don't know. Some naive young man out to rescue a damsel in distress, no doubt. I remember you. You're Snufkin. Yes. Your friend Snufkin's in here. Why don't you come in, too? In the house? Really? He's brought friends with him, has he? <gasps> Snufkin! Whatever have they done to you? I'll take care of that. Wait a second. I'll do it for you. I'll fix it. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to need you again. Where are you going? I don't think that snake ever got bitten before. I'll get another. I'm very curious. Why are you three here, huh? 
They came all the way from Moomin Valley because they were really worried about me, Grandma. Worried about you? Yes, they thought you might be nasty to me, so they came all this way to see if I needed help. This always happens. People treat witches as if they weren't ordinary, respectable, responsible citizens. No, no, we're very sorry. We realize she's quite okay, and she's most welcome to visit us in Moomin Valley at any time, isn't she, Snufkin? Yes, certainly. What? You said you'd visit these people? Oh, yes. I thought I'd go over there sometimes after I finish with my homework, of course. I would never leave my studies half done. Sorry, Alicia, but if you ever want to become a good witch, you mustn't see any ordinary mortals. Oh, why not? I've only just become friends with them, Grandma, please. I know. Why don't I wait a year and study to be a witch next year? Alicia. This is family business, so if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you were to leave. And I'd like you to go immediately, if you please. It's snowing. Well, she certainly won't be able to visit us if Moomin Valley is buried in snow, so we might never see her again. No. That's right. And you'll be leaving soon, won't you, Snufkin? Winter had come once again to Moomin Valley.